Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're looking at classic Ubuntu, where it all began for me, which was pretty much back in about 2008-09, and that was about the time of Ubuntu 8.04 LTS. Um, so I thought I might spin up a VM today with this older distro of Ubuntu running, so you can uh, have a look and just see what Linux used to be like back in the day. Um, so let's uh, just jump on over to the Ubuntu website from back in the day. Um, so they used to only have the desktop edition and the server edition. Um, Ubuntu, I think, uh, the netbook edition that didn't come out until a couple of years after that. Um, but yeah, you can see it's a very simplified website, but it was. Uh, even at the time, it was a bit of an older website design. It wasn't the best. Um, so, yeah, you can see that they've got a bit of a desktop tour here where you can have a look and see what it looks like. Might load that one up. Not sure how far I can get because this is on the way back machine. So, yeah, it looks like it's really struggling there. We'll go to productivity tools. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like I can get too far there. Um, but... Yeah, okay, so we have uh, some notification areas here in the top right, uh, help and support, uh, local language options, cool. So uh, before we get started with installing this in VirtualBox, I thought I might just um, show you this page here. This is on the wiki. You uh, .ubuntu.com releases page and here you can see all the list of the releases which there are from Ubuntu. Um, you can see that uh, we've uh, just come to this stage which is Ubuntu 20.04 and we're on the new LTS release at the moment. Um, and then there's all these operating systems down here which are end of life. So 8.04.4 LTS is the one which we're testing today. That was from uh, 2010 for its release time, and uh, its end of life was 2013. So it's a pretty old distro when you consider that Ubuntu started at 4.10, uh, at least as far as their archive on the wiki goes here. Um, so those links will take you to a download page. I've downloaded the AMD 64-bit version here. And yeah, let's get this on install underway. So I'll start this one up. I'll just uh, insert that disk in. That disk is in there now. Let's go reset. F12, just like the CD. Okay, is that uh, language? Options menu. So we might um, give it a bit of a try for the moment. Try Ubuntu. There's that uh, classic. Uh, logo for Ubuntu. I used to like that logo a fair bit because it just represents community and I think you kind of see that logo you hear that noise? That was the classic Ubuntu noise. In fact I actually forgot about that until I loaded up the distro here but yeah, Ubuntu used to have that noise when you logged in uh, every time and uh, during the install just as we've heard so it looks like the mouse is struggling a little bit here so um, uh, it'll be interesting to see if the driver issue for that kind of works itself out once we actually install it and aren't running it from the live distro like we are currently um, so it's been a while since I've been in here but let's go to system and see what we can see in here um, let's go about me okay it doesn't really have much there just trying to bring up, say, our task manager. See if we have a task manager here. Okay, this mouse is really struggling. Let's just get this install underway, and then we might uh, have a little look around and see how we go. So that's struggling there again. We'll just select 
a location here. Okay, uh, let's go with. Nice. Really struggling. Okay, all right, that's pretty much my time zone there. We'll go forward, and that's fine for the keyboard input language. Uh, use entire disk, that's fine. Okay, uh, here we go. This is admin, Ubuntu. And install. All right, so that is installing. Petitions are being formatted. Be interested to see how long this one takes, because um, this is modern hardware. Uh, what I've got set up for this VM at the moment is one gig of RAM, so it's pretty much what you probably would have had at the time. Um, I think my desktop maybe had about two to four gig in 09. Um, Video memory, I've just got 16 meg for it. It has the one CPU here as well. Um, yeah, so it should hopefully be pretty representative of what you would have had back in 09. Just in looking at this, really, it, do it doesn't seem to be taking very long, so it's probably going a lot quicker than what it would have in 09. So I've just double-clicked on one of the folders here on the desktop, and it's got examples, so I'm just seeing what there is in here. Um, things look as though it's a bit like Windows in terms of how these menus are operating here. And in fact, it actually almost has a bit of a Vista look about it. It's really struggling still. Um, we'll just see if I can close out of that window. Alt F4 works. Uh, installing is still underway. It's getting there. One of the things you might have noticed during this uh, install here is there's no option for it to download its updates while it's uh, installing. So that was a feature which came at a later date to the Ubuntu installation. So you do actually get two desktops also. I remember that was a feature which I actually didn't mind when I looked at Ubuntu. Um, and yeah, that was quite an out there feature because that wasn't available in Windows at all. Uh, it wasn't even available in Mac at the time either. Okay, restart, and let's hope um, we can actually use the operating system after that. So Ubuntu 8.04.4 is uh, codenamed Hardy Heron, and uh, it was released in 2008. Not actually sure if this is restarting. It's just been sitting there for a moment, so I might just reset it. It's turning back on. Okay, so we seem to have a bit of a better experience, so let's see how far we can get. Um, so, uh, we'll go to applications, and let's just have a look and see what we have. We have the calculator here. Let's see if I can drag that one in the middle. There we go. 4 plus 4321. Seems to work. Uh, what else we got here? 
Let's have a look at a classic version of uh, Office. Oh, that's right. I forgot it used to be Open Office back in the day. Um, LibreOffice didn't really uh, get picked up too much till a bit later in the piece. Was this back when it was uh, owned by yeah Sun Microsystems? So yeah, Sun Micro used to develop Open Office. One of the great things I used to love about OpenOffice compared to Windows Office, uh, you know, uh, Word and Excel and PowerPoint was the fact that it had this uh, export directly to PDF. The functionality didn't seem to come into Office for a period of time. Uh, so let's save that one. Let's go to test. So that one is saved. And let's see if I can open my documents now. Whoops. Um, folder. Oh, there's that one. I want to save that PDF. Save. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Open that one up. And there's our PDF. Alright, looks like it's done that thing with the display again. We haven't really done much, but it's, um,. It's not letting me move that mouse up to the top bar here, so um, is there anything else I can do to get that to work? I really, really doesn't like this um, mouse. Alright, so what games we got in here? We've got uh, Blackjack, Internet, what have we got? Firefox, an error occurred. Okay. This is back when uh, Firefox used to have those start pages. <laughs> Remember when they were all the rage? Just about every company used to have a start page. So that seems to be working. Let's do a bit of a speed test in here. See how that goes. Looks like we're really struggling to render that page. Let's uh, try and go to a bit more of a modern site. Um, go to, let's go to Ubuntu.com and see what we get. Okay, it looks like perhaps the certificates which are installed on here have expired. So what we might do is a uh, sudo apt get update. see okay it looks like it's not it doesn't seem to be able to reach those archives so upgrade no okay everything is SSL now which is a big problem if you want to try and get something without SSL thankfully Google still uses uh, a uh, non SSL site if you need to access something let's go uh, Google from Debian download wget should work no okay um, we'll download it from the non SSL All right, that's downloading see what happens there okay doesn't look like that's going to work for us there either um so I think the only way we can really get this one to function a bit more is if we can uh, update those repositories in say the sources that list to one in an archive for Ubuntu, which there's probably one around. But for the moment, I just wanted to see if we could actually load up into here and see if we could actually use it to some degree. And it, yeah, it doesn't look like we can use it very easily unless you apply some serious updates to it. Because, um, yeah, with those SSL certificates expired like they have, um, really can't do much. Interesting, no errors for Bing. But what happens if we go to YouTube? It's probably not going to like that very much either. Especially since it's on SSL. Is using HTML5 though, which would be interesting if it worked because I don't know if HTML5 was around all that much <laughs> um, 
during the day of Firefox version 3. Yeah, it looks like we can't see anything there. So I wonder, is that Flash that it's using there? And uh, look, there's not even any developer tools in here. Add-ons. Yeah, this is pretty hard. Wonder if we can install the latest version of Firefox. That's right, files used to save to your desktop too. They didn't save to your downloads folder. Looks like might be working. Reading archive. Just open up uh, terminal again. CD to desktop, and we will do install. Okay, no, nope. okay. Um, so that's interesting. It's a package that we've just downloaded. So let's go. We'll extract this. Might need to go CD into Firefox. We'll change mod on Firefox to plus X. What type of file is this one? This one is an executable. And I've changed the permissions on the file so that I should be able to run it. Um, can't think of what more I can do to open that file. Um, crash reporter. No. I just don't seem to be able to open it. Okay. So I hope that video was interesting for you. Um, we didn't really get too far with looking at Ubuntu 8.04, but uh, we, we could get it installed. And it was just a nice experience to be able to experience that old classic loading bar that we used to see for Ubuntu and even that audio that you used to get when you logged in. Um, even just the some of the icons on the desktop and how they used to be compared to how crisp and smooth things look now. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it, please like it. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.